Hello, welcome. This is the after stream show, Many Hats, One Screen, where we talk about the issues that may or may not have arisen dungeon mastering tonight's session 12 for Curse of the Crimson Throne. Um, interesting stuff. So this... Uh, Basically, the story called for them to escort the bard, who may or may not have killed the king, to safety. Um, and the um, module sort of suggests maybe throwing some wilderness encounters. I thought it might be good to put a little contour on the things, you know, so it's not all plot, plot, plot. And they hadn't had a fight since they got out of the dungeon crawl. Um, not any meaningful one. So I decided to give them two potential opportunities. Uh, for the first one, I prepped a pair of dragons, brother and sister, Riker and Timurel, um, fantasy name generator for those names, because in my conversion notes, you'll see I used the Goblinist 5e encounter tool to generate these encounters. Um, mostly, I just hadn't used it and wanted to test it. Yeah, it was good. It did a pretty good job. Um, I also used... Um, t uh, Tactical Maps Reincarnated, or whatever that's called, the map pack for the actual encounters there. So um, I prepped those, the, the Woodland Path and the King's Road. Um, but for the first encounter, as mentioned, it was goblins, or, or sorry, dragons. Um, and, you know, that was really just going to be a, they are hungry children and they're evil, of course. So they're more than willing to uh, eat one of your friends or one of the oxen for the merchant caravan that they happen to be pulling. Um, which I wasn't... I didn't know that they were going to do that, but that could have been a potential solution as well. But as it was, they p fished ahead out of the bag of holding, the gym bag of holding, if you'll recall, and uh, fed them that, or, or two or three heads, or what have you. So that's fine. That worked well. Um, next up was a roadside ambush. A pitiful goblin named Ick. Uh, led them into a house where they were attacked by bugbears and flanked by hobgoblins. Um, you know, at fourth level, bugbears, hobgoblins, it's, it's not necessarily a risky encounter, so I wanted to put a little bit of tactics in it, but not too much. I, I, I got the party on the ropes, and I, I really didn't want to wipe them out from a wilderness encounter, so we didn't quite play the tactics of the hobgoblins as tightly as I could. I wanted to put some hit point pressure on people, have people use their abilities, and it absolutely worked. Um, so all in all, reasonably satisfying roadside encounter, you know, low risk and such. They, um, thought about noping completely out of the adventure tonight. Um, they looked at the situation and said, you know, Corvosa is a terrible place with like problems. This, this place sucks. Let's leave. And, you know, I can't say that I blame them, but I had to point out that there's going to be problems elsewhere if they go there, too, right? It's sort of the nature of the, the thing. Um, you know, it might be really cool to spin this out of the adventure and into some kind of open-ended sandbox game. I've been kind of hankering to play one of those anyway, but the problem is those never end. And um, the way we're running this Rethink Gaming Club, we're doing episodic campaigns that you know they run for more than a year but they do run it and stop and it gives people on and off board and, and that sort of thing um i could do story arcing around the sandbox I mean, this, this is not a talk about sandbox <laughs> um come to the the game master boot camp class if you want to learn about that um so yeah uh, I named all of the hobgoblins and, and such just in case it came up it, it didn't um but those encounters both played exactly the the way I thought they might. I did think they would fight the dragons, but um, they gave up their pseudo dragons, so I wasn't able to, as a DM, sort of force that issue. Um, just had to let it happen as it did. So then, uh, you know, I, I still had the the plague ship and such. I I thought they might go diving tonight, but they didn't really get time. And that's totally fine. So what I plan to do, escort out of town, the uh, wilderness encounters, which could be solved by combat or could be solved by social interactions, and then the plague ship uh, sort of set piece that, that plays when they get back to town, um, setting up the real meat and potatoes of this chapter, which, you know, of course, going to involve a plague. Um, one of the players tonight mentioned monkeypox because it's current year, and that's what everybody's worried about. 
Um, you know, in the era of COVID, maybe this feels a little weird. And I've been thinking about that in terms of, you know, prep and stuff. And it's like, oh, you know, it's a little bit on the nose having just lived through a pandemic. But um, yeah, we're going to run it as it is. Maybe it'll be cathartic for some. Um, you know, we use light touch and the heroes will, of course, prevail. And, uh, you know, in this case, the uh, spoilers, but the lab leak theory is very, very on the nose. So um, we'll see, right? Um, stay tuned for if any issues of that come up. But, you know, people were like, ah, you know, I don't want anything to do with this. Let's get out of here. And they might. If they had, then I probably, I, I threatened them. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm going to transition you into Rise of the Rune Lords if you go through Magnum R. I, I could go and look at the Paizo Adventure Path catalog and, and yeah, just switch them to Chapter 2 of some other adventure path that, that is currently in Magnum R when that happens. Would not be difficult or, or anything. It might be a little janky because there's some seeds sown, you know, player backgrounds, Gadron Lamb, and those kinds of things that will would have no payoff. Um... But, you know, it could be done. And again, like, above all else, we're playing together as friends and, and peers and, and uh, uh, former coworkers and such. So that's the point. But if I had to transition them into another game, I would. As it happened, it's, you know, 42 days by Oxcart to <laughs> Magnamar. And I don't think anybody was super excited about making that trip. And I pointed out that they hadn't been paid, right? So I'm kind of nudging them in all the while making it clear that i'm open to them um you know forking the adventure if that's what they absolutely want to do and it seems like they decided to come back they're standing on the river there's some curiosity now about why there was a plague ship and why it was sunk um they're going to find out that the guard has been temporarily reinstated due to the plague and all of that, and that, that may give them some hooks, or it may give them, um, you know, ants in their shoes uh, <laughs> where they want to beat feet and get the heck out. So we'll see. No idea what's going to happen next time. Um, the adventure is going to prompt them to help someone that they beat up previously. <laughs> so I'll probably bribe them with his sword, and, and you'll see all that. We'll do that on that after show next week. But um, that's it. No regrets. Everything went pretty much according to plan. The only thing that I might have not done is sent the merchant caravan to an interesting place in my head. You know, I'm trying to do the, the logical connections thing and saying, well, it's a, it's a big caravan, relatively, and it's carrying important stuff. Where would that go? And obviously it's going to go from one capital city to another capital city. Um almost an oops could be an oops we, we might have a, a pivot retitle the campaign or something i don't know that's it um you know i'm mostly recording this as a memory book as they say for now i don't have a lot of viewers but for those of you who are here i appreciate you i'm grateful to have some audience however small it might be and i'm willing to interact with you if that's something that you're looking for so discord comments below what have you, completely opening and welcoming environment, willing to talk about whatever you like. Have a great evening, and thank you for watching. We will catch everybody next time. Um, again, we're going to be doing some some plaguey stuff, and they may want to nope out of the plaguey stuff. So we'll see, but um, 